G'day, Dave from the Daintree Ice Cream Company here. Today I'm picking jackfruit and they are a pain in the ass to pick. These are the heaviest treeborne fruits uh, in the world. Um, biggest one I've had on the farm um, a couple of years ago was 28 kilos. Um, they're a really tricky one to pick. Top, uh, top things off. My jackfruit are covered in green ants. Check that out. I'm supposed to walk around, kind of feel these things to see whether they're ready to be picked. Ah, oh, you can see what's going to happen. Getting smashed. Getting absolutely smashed by green ants right now. These green ants are awesome. I love having them in the trees for most of the year. They're, um, they're a natural sort of pest treatment for us. We don't use pesticides on the property. Um, we've got the rainforest right next to us and we've got a beautiful little creek down the back. We don't want that stuff going under the creek. So, um, you know, we really don't even use chili sprays or anything like that. Just very, very rarely. But, um, yeah, having these ants is, is, um, is brilliant most of the year. You know, right up to the day I've got to pick the fruit. They'll, um, they'll keep all the, the, the leaf eating insects that come, uh, come out of the forest at bay. Um, they'll even chase cockatoos out of the trees we've found. Um, so they're, they're brilliant to have around for most of the year, natural, organic pest treatment. So when I'm picking jackfruit, I look for a couple of things. I look for uh, yellowing of the leaf that's closest to the fruit. Um, that's a pretty sure sign that the fruit will ripen up. Sometimes that leaf falls off before you can actually see it, see that it's turned yellow, so that makes life a little tricky. Um, I look at the spines of the fruit. If they're still really spiky and close together, I leave the fruit. Um, they should flatten out a little bit and space out a little bit. That's a, a pretty good sign. Um, what else? Oh, change of colour from green to yellow. That's not always a great indicator. It's a bit inconsistent. Um, and on one of our varieties, the, the yellow variety we've got out uh, on the southern side of the orchard, um, we watch the stalk of the jackfruit change colour. Um, the stalk that's holding the, holding the fruit to the branches. Um, it starts out green and slowly turns sort of brown as it, as it travels down towards the fruit and can kind of turn a little bit yellowy. Um, um, yeah, so we watch that and yeah, other than that, you can just walk around and kind of feel them um, and see if they, they, they give a little bit, um, if they're a little bit soft, but that's a bit risky because, you know, they, if they fall off the tree when they're soft, um, you know, and they typically do when, they, when they're quite ripe like that, they'll just explode on the ground um, when they're soft. Also, you've got animals that are going to give you trouble, cockatoos. We've got a bull that just walks in and eats anything ripe that's, um, that's low enough. Um, lots of pigs. Um, yeah, so um, I'd love to know if you guys uh, there at home grow jackfruit at all, if you're a farmer in North Queensland or somewhere else in the world and you've got um, a signal you use to tell you when your jackfruit are ripe, I'd love to know about it. The, the more I can know about uh, picking jackfruit when they're perfect, um, the better because um, it's really a little bit hit and miss. Um, I think that's the nature of the beast. But um, yeah, I'd like to get it as close to perfect as I can. So um, yeah, we're trying to make the best ice cream in the world. Um, that's, uh, that's our goal for the next few years. So starts uh, starts here on the, on the farm, at, you know, in the orchard. Um, don't know if you could grow the fruit in a better location than this. Surrounded by World Heritage listed uh, Daintree Rainforest. Great barrier reef at our doorstep. 100% um, organic. We don't use any pesticides or inorganic fertilizers. Um, and yeah, it's, it's fruit as nature intended. Just pure and beautiful.